Hey, we're back. Welcome. Top eight. Um, we're getting there. Yeah, we're about to. We're we're about to break up a family. Uh, we have the Pierce brothers playing oh. off. They both made top eight and they got paired against each other for <laughs> top eight. Uh, so we have. I heard what it was now. Honda Yoda. Hondo. 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 Honda Sorry. Yoda. Is that like the new? <laughs> it's the new Hondo one. Yoda. So we have uh, this. There's another Boba sister. Uh, Boba sister. So versus... we saw this before. Unfortunately, got taken down by the Phasma. Yep. Uh, got taken down by the Faz. Yeah, the, the special chaining or the special into uh, uh, Hondo the Yoda. Throne. This is a cool deck. Uh, Yoda, as we said before, incredibly powerful card. Very powerful. Uh, Hondo also very strong. Um, that's special. Ooh. Yeah, the special is very threatening. Uh, that's a boost. Right in front. <laughs> right in front of our hand. Thank cam. you, Justin. Ap- appreciate that. Uh, good. Good. No. Well, Yep, so we're all <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Uh, we've got some specials with, with Yoda and specials with Honda. I think they're very, very Hondo. important. Hondo! Hondo! I, I prefer to drive it around. Do you see a car? I don't. I see, I see a man with a hat who is a neutral. Right. Well, uh, he's very cool. Very cool character. Very flavor, the flavor, man. Flavor judge yeah. on this is incredible. Oh, Having so a, a neutral character in the set was just oh, it, very cool. It was so just, fun. The fact that it fits exactly the character's, like, Persona is very yeah. cool. His his design is very sweet. Anyway, we have uh yeah, Boba Sister. Don't know how similar is the deck we saw before. I see a bunch of pretty much identical cards. Yep. Uh very similar, I'd say. Justin, so what, what are the key things about Justin though? Because we haven't seen this deck yet. Look, no. honestly, basically it's a Hondo. Like Hondo is going to do the the work. Uh, Yoda is an enabler. He's going to be uh, driving around, is he? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a Honda, mate. <laughs> All right. No, so it's very powerful. Um, his special being basically, I believe, don't remember the exact wording, but it's it's uh, deal. Either your opponent gives you a resource or deal three damage. Oh, okay. So basically, you can pay them, like you force yeah, them to pay, pay you not off, to do yeah. damage. Yeah, please, sir. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, so Trent has to play very carefully around uh, with his resources, which. It kind of hurts when you think about yeah. it because this deck really wants to play its upgrades when it gets them. Uh, well, so this we is can see here though. So this, yeah, this is Trent's deck. That is a lot of upgrades. Very different build. Even very a force wave different and a force build. Throw in there as well. They're three costs. Yeah, this is a very different build to the previous one yeah. that we saw. Um, well, this is the Yo- Honda Yoda. That's why. Ah, this is just on the, the wrong side. This is on the Honda. Hondo. 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 Yeah, this is. Sorry, you're yeah, correct. This is. Uh, yep. Yep. So. Sorry, I was I had it in my head. This was the uh, yeah the Boba the sister. sister very this is very different. All right, so a few upgrades there for Yoda. Um, Lord operative second chance. Look, all these cunning. Up, all these all these upgrades are terrifying when you consider what Yoda does. Yeah. Um, Yoda with the handcrafted light bow is hor- is, is horrifying. <laughs> uh, Yoda with the four speed is horrifying. Yoda with four throw is jeebus. <laughs> uh, the only card there I don't. Recognize is fortified. Oh, that's no. Start with the shield. So that's, start that's the, shield. the plot. Yeah. So there's, the a, there's a new system, I believe, involved called the the no, plot no, cards that they brought through. Not the new that ones. new. Uh, uh, yeah. It was the legacy po- that came points, out. Of him? Points that are left in characters uh, can be spent on plots. So uh, I'm seeing this. This plot's worth two points. Two points, and it's when you after you deploy, give a character a shield. So it's a shield. It, it extra help. Uh, this is Justin's list. Uh, Pretty similar to the last ones that we saw. My kind of scum is different. I do not remember what that card is. That is an old card, and I haven't seen it for a my while. Kind of scum. What is my kind of scum? Huh. Uh, we'll be figuring that out very shortly. And so that we saw a bunch of upgrades as well. We got the Vibra Cutlass coming through. Um, incredibly powerful yeah. melee card. So Honda's going to roll in. Uh, nope. Hondo's going to get a cunning... Oh, oh man. Cunning already. Oh, Yoda, Turn one, Yoda, cunning. Yoda, Yoda, cunning's great. This is petrifying already. <laughs> oh, man. I just... I so, bet, look, what, I've what been playing Yoda differently. I've been playing Yoda differently, yeah. but cunning is great. I've heard some ferocious things. It used to be uh, a little bit different. I used to play it in um, the the Maz... Uh, was it the Maz um, Flyboy deck that we used to play? Um, where you try and special chain into throwing, throwing uh, vehicles at their face. Um, cunning, obviously, its special says uh, you can uh, resolve this dice as any other special that's on the battlefield yep. right now. Yep. So you have Yoda's special, Hondo's special, for speed in this particular scenario as well. Yep. Even Boba's special, if there's a, a huge damage on 
on field, you can resolve that into a Boba special. Yeah. Yep. It's very powerful. Um, someone in chat there just pointing out what my kind of scum is. Uh, so it's after you resolve a dice showing dis. <laughs> after you resolve a dice showing disrupt, uh, you may exhaust his support to gain resources equal to the number of resources your opponent just lost, which is pretty sweet. Um, he it's also a resource generator. He also happened to copy and paste something about a. I don't know what that is. Two hundred GP, five minutes. I, I, different game. Different game. I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting clipboard. Uh, However, to the game in hand, oh, we should point out, uh, these are best of three matches. So yes. we will get Very three important. games out of these out of these two players. Um, Did we just have a hyperspace jump land? All oh, right, so, so ju <laughs> Justin, <laughs> uh, double Hondo specialed, and then hyperspace jumped, hyperspace jumped away. Yep, uh, gets gets his resources. Yep, so Trent paid him a bunch of resources. Uh, can we please get Justin's uh, resources in view? I think he's hiding them underneath the hand. Yeah, can we? Yeah, that'd be that would be nice. Uh, we do have them currently underneath. He definitely his... played a lone operative. That is three, and according to us, he had zero yeah. <laughs> resources on field. He's getting to put him in the middle. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, Thank you very be, much. That'd be sweet. Appreciate it. All right, so lone operative, very powerful card. Another special, I'm saying. Uh, yeah, look, you're going to notice a trend here. <laughs> everything, everything the Yoda deck wants to play is um, upgrades that have a special that he can special into. Yeah. Um, so what? What is your? How does Yoda work? Why is this card so busted? Why does everyone uh, love him so much? Step one. Oh, step, fact one. <laughs> let's just go through it. Uh, no blanks. Well, and so no red sides on his side. I'm saying, yep, three, yep, six blacks. Uh, he's pretty cheap, uh, and his, his special in. is incredible. Uh, so he has a one in two to hit, a one in three to hit special rather. So two sides are specials. Yep. His other sides are fine. He has a two focus, which is not that, nothing. That's not nothing. It's uh, definitely something. However, uh, sorry, two focus and a one focus. Uh, his special. Uh, you are able to choose two of the four that it can do. Um, they must be two different things, so you can't do the same thing twice. Okay. Uh, so it's focus a die, uh, gain a shield, gain a resource, or, mil or or discard a card from the top of your opponent's deck. Oh. So in decks like in, in this style of so deck, we can mill as well. Yes. Interesting. Uh, I, I play them in a mill deck, but uh, this style of deck, it's almost always going to be focusing a die because, as we've discussed, I think in a previous match, uh, the fact that you can focus a die to a to a special. And then resolve it as part of the fo as in, in, in succession is very powerful. So two of Hondo specials as well. Uh, so oh, Hondo, wow. yeah, exactly. So, so Hondo just rolled in. Uh, he hit a natural special and a cunning special, and then when he resolves specials, he used the cunning on the Hondo special. Well, that, that's exactly what we're talking about. That's that's, that's the terrifying. Power of cunning. Um, cunning is very strong. Cunning is a very strong card. Uh, this list is very is very strong. This is um, looking petrifying already. There's quite so strong. many options it, it, available. Look, it's had a very good start, I think. Um, yeah. Cut in, four speed, lone operative. Yeah. These uh, aren't cheap upgrades uh, either. Well, four speed is free. Four speed, like, four, four, four four speed on Yoda is nice. I mean, look, lone operative on Yoda isn't even that necessary yet. It will be handy later to be able to heal. But it's also got a two discard. And Ooh. like I think it's got a big disrupt side on it as well from memory. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, just uh, uh melee, just the discard, special, card, just special, the heal, special blank. Just the heal. Trent, on the other hand, has a pretty good board state, starting to build up a pretty good board state. Yeah. Um, a mold he, lightsaber is is definitely a powerful, powerful. He's tool in this definitely deck. being slowed down by the Hondo specials, which is the power of that of that deck, because um, you just don't want to take three. You're almost always going to uh, to pay the resource given the choice. Uh, was that Hondo special the yes resource? The Hondo special was yeah. He gets his resource. There it is. Yep. Just yeah, making so, sure. Yep. So of course, your Honda is you steal the resource. Yeah, you don't just, you don't just take one. You, you, yeah, you have to give them a resource. You have to pay him off to to warrant uh, him Correct. not shooting your face off. Correct. So already we can see Justin on four resources. We're on turn three now. He's played a three cost upgrade, a two. three cost upgrade. No, uh, two cost. Ah, uh, two cost for Conning. Yeah, Conning. Sorry, two. two cost for Conning. Three cost for Lonerpoof. Has four resources in play with a light bow in hand that we can see. Yeah. So look, the light bow is probably going to go down. Yep, there, there it is. There it is. Uh, that's terrifying. This is a lot of upgrades. We're seeing a lot of dice in pool. Yeah, this deck is very good. It's very quick. Deck is good for the for the sake of such such expense. Uh, however, now let let's not let's not shy away from it. Uh, Bob is very good too. <laughs> yeah. Oh so, yeah. So Justin just rolls in, shows. Yeah. Okay. So nothing amazing on his dice, but. Yep. You know, a four speed special is terrifying simply for the fact that, like, what a re roll into any a re roll here can be, yeah, so devastating. Uh, Trent using the ability of the saber uh, to roll in 
without having to activate the character. Yep. As there are no shields currently on either of Justin's characters. And right now, Hondo could have uh, rolled into a special potentially and taken the Boba and, and reflected that straight on. Uh... Yeah, still in the Boba special and, and reflecting that. that yeah, he still can. Uh, he still can do that. There's uh, so many cunning, options available cunning, in this deck. Cunning with. Yeah, cunning is so powerful. You, you forget about it because it doesn't or It's not a com- that commonly played anymore, which seems weird because in the current meta, it's such a heavy special meta. Yeah. <laughs> um, that, that was quite disgusting. We've, we've the, got yeah, comments yeah, in. Yeah, just, just, I think that's previously on the, the cunning and the Hondo special. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like this deck. I, I like this deck a lot from Justin here. Um, I can get behind this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it already. Like, seeing what it's doing right now. Uh. Yoda's on four, um, you know, versus the seventh sister four. So Yoda does have a lot of upgrades, which can be quite scary to yeah, lose look, that I character. Mean, Trent, he, look, let's be honest, though. Justin's got a great start and a great board state, but Trent still hasn't taken much damage. I mean, yeah. he's, he's been slowed down significantly. He would have two more upgrades in play easily by now yeah. if he ha- didn't have to be constantly paying resources. Um, but because of his excellent resource management, that, yeah, that Hondo, as, you know? as, I, as I pointed out earlier, a very important part of this of this matchup is going to be Trent playing. It's going to be heads up play from Trent, not yeah. running out, like not spending the resources and always keeping up the money when he needs it. Yeah. Um, uh, so there's the Ewok coming into play. Yes, yeah, so that's the sound. The alarm. The alarm was sounded, and apparently was heard. No, not quite. Not quite. There's uh, he hit the one in six on the on the, the mall save of the actual damage. <laughs> yep, that's. Uh, looks like Justin has claimed, however. Oh no, no, he hadn't. No, he what hasn't. Did he do? he uh, disrupted. Oh, it focused. Okay, so he focused the light bow. Yep. Right. Which makes sense because you you get to deal a bunch of damage yep. off that special again. I believe it is. Yeah, Yoda had a. Sp- or maybe he focused the Yoda die. He focused him into a special. Uh, yeah, he focused into a Yoda special, which he then used to focus into a. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, he did the special trade. Yep. Yoda die and Yoda die into Lightbow. Uh, here we're seeing again, I believe that's the Emperor's Throne Room. Uh, uh, Emperor's Throne Room is correct. Uh, that is very good yeah, in we, this deck. We saw the power of that in the Phasma, uh, the Phasma I, Boba deck before, thank, and now even more. Thank you for pointing that out. That is terrifying with this deck, given yep. the specials that Tr- Justin has access to. But... Essentially, from what I can tell, almost every single die that's going to go into play in this on this table from Justin is going to have a special side yeah. that will impact the game heavily. Um, I can imagine right now I'm witnessing this ferocious story of a force speed into a Yoda special, Yoda special, making the Hondos go off into claim as the final action and resolving a whole bunch of dice. There's a very long special train to be had oh. on Justin's side of the board. Um this is exciting. God, this is I, I, I must say from experience, rolling Yoda in feels so good. <laughs> you just don't feel bad. Which side do I get? The good one or the good one? Or the yeah, good it's one? like <laughs> the most disappointing sometimes is the, uh, like rolling a resource is like a bit, no, the resource is probably fine. The resource is fine. Crush can be good. Discuss fine. I guess he's just good. You, I think you're never unhappy. Crushing against Trent, right? And then you get the Hondo specials involved. Yeah, crushing, crushing here is very good. Or you just roll him up Natty. Um, so that's a double. That's a focus on cunning, focus, and a special. It looks uh, like the discard on Yoda. I think that is. Uh, yeah, one discard card each showing on Yoda and a crush, and a disrupt. Um, so there's a lot of interrupting that Yoda can do yeah. as well, stopping you doing your game plan. Yeah. See, once again, Trent's sitting on three, two cost upgrades that he can't play. Maybe three, three cost upgrades. I, I don't know what's in between the. That's the Vibro Cutlass. Close, quarters. The close oh, quarters. Oh, that's a uh, force, force Illusion. Ancient Lightsaber. Force Illusion. So we can see there's a lot of high cost upgrades. Ah, so he's, he's, he's doing well, some though. damage. The Force Illusion's going to hit a Force Illusion. That's, that's a bit rough. That always feels bad. Oh, and the Force Throw. And the Light Bow. And the Force Speed. Woo! So I said before, when you break a Force Illusion, yeah. you want to do it big. Because there ain't no point breaking a Force Illusion for, for not a lot, not a lot of much. Uh, but what feels good right now for Justin is he just saved, what was that, seven damage yep. on Yoda? Mm-hmm. That's, that, that was a dead Yoda. That was seven damage? That was a plus plus four and a... Maybe it was six, six damage, so a plus four and a two. Yeah, I was going to say, he milled a lot of cards there. That's yeah. a lot of damage. Uh, that's that's not, not a small amount, to, to mm. say the least. Uh, but at least Yoda's alive right now. Yes. Um, all right, there's a roll. That is a roll. There's a lot of dice. So... That is a terrifying role because Yoda, Yoda showing one special represents so very much. Yeah. Yoda can flip a die and do something. 
he flips his own die and does flip something, does something else, uh, resolves the Hondo special, resolves the Warren Operative special, and then you continue on with whatever. <laughs> with the rest of your turn. Yeah. Uh, f- uh, where's four speed gone? Uh, so he overrode the four speed for the fourth illusion because he saw the six damage and was very afraid. So he paid the extra resource. Oh, right. He already had three upgrades. The Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. He, had, he, had to, he had to throw away the four speed. Yeah. Yep. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. It sucks. So here we it see sucks. it. We see the special chain yeah, in. So into he's going to in. special into the cunning. Oh, yeah. He's got cunning in play as well. It's terrifying. So we're going to get three damage through. There's, because Yeah. A Hondo is definitely going to get the three damage through. Yeah. Because he's going to. Because I, I think he's considering maybe healing here. Because he can also cunning the lone operative. Yep, yeah, uh, which heals two. Two, two because it's, if, if it was one character, it heals three, but in this case, it'll heal two. So theoretically, he can heal four off Yoda. Yep. Uh, personally, I think you're better off going for the damage here and threatening lethal. Yeah, uh, killing the seventh sister is a good way to stop well, you damage. Get, you get to heal two regardless. I think I would I resolve them both as Hondo specials. Yeah. Um. So Trent can pay one, and then he's going to have to take three. Something we missed here is the Vibra Cutlass actually coming in over the top of Maul's lightsaber. Yeah, so what, power- is the, what is the text on Vibro Cutlass? I don't remember uh, it. Not sure, but he, he power actioned the Maul Saber in. Yep. I believe it was, and then tried to resolve that and then play the Vibro Cutlass over the top. Uh, because uh, he, he needs to get weapons in. He needs to get some the bigger guns out. Oh, okay. So Vibro Cutlass is just a, a big weapon um, with some resource side, like some, some a two, a three, and a four melee, but they have a one resource cost, but it's reduced if it's on a yellow character. So in this case, yeah. it doesn't matter because it did. Uh, well, there we go. The but it had redeploy. So Seven Sister he used, got so, hit like a truck. So Trent used... Um, basically, I think Trent took that opportunity to, to overwrite in order to get the redeploy and not, yeah. and not have to pay for it. Which is a very correct play, I mm-hmm. think. it's it, it allows a lot of damage. And, and wasting three resources right now against Hondo mm. is so bad. You play this Maul's lightsaber... Well, he didn't have it to and waste. ...and watch it go into the, to the grave. He you, didn't have it to waste, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but being able to get the Vibro Cutlass, push it across. Yep. Very, very, very smart play. Yeah, it gets, get, gets it across. Um, Justin, showing the power of just chaining a bunch of specials together in that play, he managed to heal two from Yoda, take a resource, deal three damage. Like, <laughs> he, 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 the world's your oyster yeah. with, with, with Yoda. He is very powerful. Four choices is, is more than enough. But, well, yeah. it's, it's it, the, the power of it is the fact that you can conti- you can resolve multiple like the dice you flip into a special you can also resolve as yeah. part of the part of the one action <laughs> um so what are we looking at over there so justin's sitting on a easy pickings a obi-wan saber and a second second chance, chance. second chance is interesting in that deck it's it's a yellow card it's only? yeah yellow character only so it's only going to go on hondo but i feel i feel that people are going to be t- I suppose it lets you go longer because if they go after Yoda first, then whatever, mm. uh, you just keep him alive with Force Illusions and just, you know, mitigation. As we saw. Um, which then means when the game goes longer, you can, f- you know, you can play, um, uh, you can play Second Chance on. But on the flip side, you have Hondo, you have Hondo who has the cunning, which is three Hondo dice is what yeah, we're saying right it's, now. It, it's a strong list. It's a really strong list. So there's easy pickings. Yep. Going to immediately remove. So, which is the easy pickings? Uh, hold on. How much... What's the value of dice that just got removed by easy pickings? Is that a... Did they, he just remove four value of dice? Oh, sorry. Of course. I'm thinking of... Sorry. I'm thinking of Entangle. <laughs> ah, getting confused. Ah, uh, yeah. So, easy pickings... It's been a, been a long day, folks. We're uh, easy pickings being two, two dice showing the same symbol and value. Um, I'm getting that confused with uh, Entangle, which is... Two dice up to a value of three. Okay. So here we see uh, two for ones is, yep. is the old terminology. Yes, um, two for one is good. One, My one card for two of your dice feels incredibly powerful. Certainly does. It does not feel bad. Efficiency is good. I feel Trent almost would have wished for uh, the Force Illusion to be on Yoda because uh, hitting him for four or so and taking out the deck, suddenly you've got a mill strategy going on. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, look, I don't think Trent, Trent doesn't have too many ways to empty Justin's deck beyond where it's at. Yeah. And Justin's in a very commanding position here uh, to, well, basically just do what he wants. Like, that, that, that is the power of Yoda. Yeah. Uh, so, like, hitting one special on Yoda gives you so many options. Like, right now, he can 
special, resolve special on Yoda to flip Yoda's dice to flip light bow and do damage, or to flip um, Yoda's again and then do yeah, like, well, yeah, you, you flip yeah, you can flip lone operative. You can like, there's so many options, or you just roll in. You know, I don't think he has any reason to not just roll in, uh, roll in Hondo here. Instead, he's going to defend. Yep. Uh, to remove that melee side, remove that four melee seems fine. Yep, I, I, I take that trade. Uh, Hondo hits the special natty, oh, and so now there's two resources still on Trent's side. So like, yeah, I mean, he, which I I believe Justin's just going to go for the the Hondo. Oh, I mean, he doesn't have to because Hondo has a two crush. Two crush on Hondo, yes. not one. Hondo, two crush Hondo on Hondo is very good. So I think wow, what's going to be happening here is I think Hondo is going to crush the two. Trent is looking at it. I believe he's looking at spending one to yep. Remove your which anger, dice and he's got yep. That's yeah, correct. That is correct. That gives him the most options. Uh, I feel that's definitely the correct play. Uh, the crush pitch to reroll. Yeah, maybe it, it's fine. It's fine. It, all of those dice are good. You don't mind hitting any of those symbols, any well, of those sides. There's lone operative special. That's some more health yep. on Yoda. We've got another crush showing up on Hondo. Yeah. So. Discard and still shield. showing, so he's still showing that Hondo side, which means that Trent can't get can't Trent really realistically can't spend that resource. No, he doesn't have the ability to, uh, because immediately that represents three like that's three damage on the spot. Um, I think if you're Trent, oh sorry Justin here, I don't think you need to be greedy. I think you literally just resolve the crush two and then force uh, force Trent to have to do something. Although, however, that's no, double special. Oh, the reroll, he's a little greedy. Yeah, I, I agree with that. We're trying to get some more special chains. There's the Yoda special, is no, it? No, the reason it's greedy is because Trent has double double uh, special on on um, Boba, on Boba uh, which, depending on what you roll on your dice, can represent a lot of damage. So in this case, yeah. it's going to represent four damage. That is not a small amount. That's seven damage on Yoda. Uh, but Yoda's, he... Yoda's, got, Yoda's got the snap back, I think. Yoda's going to heal two. Yep. Uh, so he's got... Okay, so he's got the special on the lone operative, which is heal two. Uh, he can focus... Yeah, okay, that, that's correct. Do that first, because you just want to see what your opponent does. I believe it's going to be give a resource, because that's correct. So now you've still got options. You almost definitely heal two. Uh, um, Justin hasn't taken his resource yet. No, he's going to he's he's focus cunning. Cunning's going to copy Hondo, I believe. Or you get super greedy. Nah, no, nah, you just copy. You just copy. You could copy the cunning, the, the you, you just, operative again. You right? just nah. You could. I don't think you need to. I think you're going for damage here. So yeah, you just copy the um the the Hondo special. You've got two damage on board. Two more damage on board, which is going to put him to um, eight. Which is definitely in range. It's of very killing. in range. But you've still got a Hondo with three Hondo dice. You need to push through four more, five more damage. Nah, re-rolling. Re-rolling. Don't know why he's re-rolling the damage there. I think that's a bit greedy. I would have just taken it. Um, I think he's now he's the Hondo probably going to focus the... Since that's what he's since he's obviously taking very greedy lines here, uh, you just focus the light bow in special. In the special? Yeah, I think so. No, he just claims. That's the thing I keep forgetting about. <laughs> You have the that's battlefield. What he was looking for. You have the battlefield. That magical battlefield. That not looking for anything. He just had that ability. Maybe Trent missed it. We well, missed it. Um, Maybe that the reroll then was was still quite greedy. Uh, re, yeah, re, yeah I've, you could roll it naturally. Like he, it's not wrong. Uh, Trent obviously still wanted to do stuff. Uh, Justin was hoping to hit like a special on one of them naturally, so he could then special into it using his battlefield. On. Yep. Um, Nonetheless, very controlling spot here from Justin. First action, roll in some fearsome some Never fearsome feels dice. bad. Present lethal in... I don't think any of those dice feel bad. That presents lethal immediately. Oh, yep. no. No, Ancient Saber was used. So yeah. And so, there's a Force Illusion as well. Yep. Now there's a Force Illusion in play. So The Ancient Saber is such a powerful card in, in the meta as well. But to be warrant so much damage and still allow for that two heal. Yeah, the Ancient Saber is just good. It's just a very well-rounded upgrade. Another huge sought after card in in the set, uh, Yoda X Eight and Ancient Lightsaber. Yeah, in the last set. Yeah, last set. Ancient Saber was from. Um, uh, Legacies. Was from? No, before Legacies. Uh, Empire at War. Empire at War. That's right. Um. All right. Justin's still just having fun rolling specials. Yeah, doing I think stuff. 
Looks like a lot of fun. There's the Force Illusion Forces coming the out Force straight Illusion. away to prevent a bunch of damage. Three damage there, which would have been death. Of note, Justin has no Ripple. cards left in his deck. He only has four cards left. But this I don't, is very I don't believe Trent has any way to make him pitch those cards. Mm, there's no discard on Boba. Um, I don't believe. He's still using cards, though. There's Entangle. Is that uh, two dice up to the cost of three? Two dice up to the cost of three. Cost two, but two two dice of any value... Two, two dice of any combination up to yep. the cost of three. Very strong. Very strong. And normally when we see cards like that, they're based on just melee or, or just Yeah, there's usually or... some, some amount of limitation. So Trent is resolving a friend. So that's a way to get rid of a card. Yes. Uh, so I believe you take the easy pickings. Yep. So he's yep. got a Cunning and a, uh, an Obi-Wan Saber, and I think that was... I don't, didn't see what that other card was. Uh, it was another event, Force Misdirection, I believe it was. Yes, it was. Yep, that's correct. Uh, so here we warrant another two specials come through. Uh, Cunning, as we said, can warrant Hondo. Oh, there's the doubt. He doubted it, and it was somewhat correct. Uh, it, it was the correct option. Justin much has choices. a good chance of... Okay, well, he's immediately going to be able to do three damage with Yoda. Yeah, we still have both of Hondo's dice. Mm-hmm. This is so very he, risky so for him he, if he wants to reroll. So he special, no, he doesn't need to. So he specials Hondo, does three. His next action is threaten, claim, and win. So Trent has to claim. Yep. Yep. There it is. He does. Justin. Yeah. Justin's but now. But now Justin can just reroll. Yeah. Or he doesn't. I mean, he does doesn't have a huge number of cards left. It's the discard. You've only got two cards left. Yeah, so you you got to be careful here. Like I don't very, think you need to. Careful. I don't think you need to push it. I think you've still got a very good chance of rolling in and winning next next turn. He still has to kill a Hondo, right? Uh well, I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Trent's, even if he kills a Trent, Yoda, still, yeah, Trent still has to kill the Hondo. Congratulations, now, which now. <laughs> is very unlikely. But Justin does need to be careful. He does only have two cards left. Yeah. Um, I mean, I do Another know. I do know. I know. Comes through. I know for a fact that Trent plays a. Uh, uh, I don't know if we I don't know if we've seen seen it or both if he played two, but he does play a close quarters combat. Yeah, we definitely saw the one. Um that could be oh that could be a blowout. Well yeah, I think he might have no. We do have a Boba on one health though, and that's two Hondo specials. Boba on one he can pay for both, but it means he can't play anything. It's weird. I almost feel what? he claimed? Uh claimed is the light bow special. Claim, turn the cunt into a special, switch it to lipo, deal oh, three. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. That battlefield is so powerful. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Cunning's incredible. That that battlefield. Now, what what is important to remember, though, uh, is this is match play. Yep. Uh, so, um, so for the first game that you play, uh, it's a sh you roll for the battlefield. Uh, now, the winner... Oh, well, the loser is assumed to have won the roll. So everything else happens okay. as normal, uh, except when you would normally roll for Battlefield, it you don't roll. It's just assumed, in this case, it would be assumed that uh, that Trent... Um, won the roll. Won the roll. And therefore, he'll get to yep. choose which Battlefield it is. He does get to choose which Battlefield. So that's the list. It's a very interesting list. We didn't like see any it. Force Waves or Force Throws. I like it a lot. Force Wave's not great here. I don't think, if even if... Uh, even if Justin saw a force wave, I don't think he's playing it. It's it's, it's really in there for the three character lists. Yeah, uh, force throw would be great in this matchup. Um, the, there's not a lot. I guess the the, uh, the no tell lie the Maul's lightsaber and the vibro cutlass throwing that at them. Yeah, look, it's, you don't have to throw your own dice. You throw his dice. Yeah, any of his dice. It's, oh yeah, no, it's die removal. Definitely, it's huge. It's die removal. It's, it's it's incredible. That card's one of the best die removal spells in the game. Um. <laughs> Uh, the lone operative, we didn't see it uh, go off too hard that game, but I think um, Yoda still healed four health across that game. Um, so we're just pointing out by chat there that, the, the, yes, the Boba character could have... Boba there, I think, might have been able to actually claim and kill um, Yoda, but then would have had to have weathered an entire turn of, of, Hondo, Hondo. of Hondo on his own. Yeah. As well as, as, well as that it's only killing one character, it goes to another turn after that. So I mean, like, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Mister Mister Small Small potential play there, but I don't think it would have had that much of an outcome tough of the game. Decisions well, yeah, made. I mean, he, he, it's not that tough. He, if it, if it stops him from losing on the spot, yeah, it's very true. But I don't think it stops him winning. It, it, it lets him win the game, however, unfortunately. But nonetheless, we yeah. are now in game Definitely two. Definitely a missed opportunity. Yeah, we're in game two. 
Um, so players looking at their opening hands. So opening hands before we pick battlefields is what happened at the moment. Yeah. So what are we expecting on this turn one? We can see a light ball already in yeah, Justin's looks, hand. He's debating whether he pitch it or not. No, he's going to no, keep the light bow. You want the light bow. You yeah. want the light bow immediately. Uh, card's very good. It's 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 a lot of damage. Um, seeing a little you with a big bow. You want to be fast. Uh, in this in this matchup, very much. Look, the the Boba sister can be quick. Uh, your Honda Yoda can be quick, but Boba <laughs> sister can be saw. really quick. Yeah. Um, Justin had a very good start in that previous game. The cunning did work. That was ferocious. It put uh, so much effort into that. Trent just destroying our, our mats. Thank you, Trent. We appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> um, uh, Justin, uh, get a little confused with with the brothers sometimes. They're wonderful players. They're very much locals in the store. Um, and they've been playing veterans of the game. They've been playing for since the start, oh, really. Been... Actually, actually, El Ratheon, um, just to point out, uh, Hondo's special is how he does damage. So he, in play, could have, off those three dice he had, is, is poss a possibility of nine damage. Granted, yeah. two of it can be stopped by paying resources, but no, there's... The third cunning can come into play. Yeah, there's, there's, and pl plus, yeah. I mean, it's fair. I mean, he, he, you make a fair point in that... Um, Justin didn't have any cards left. Justin had, like, two cards in hand. Yeah. So maybe killing Yoda there. Look, you're not wrong. Killing yeah. Yoda, mate, it's better than losing. Changes a lot of things on around. That's the thing. There's, there isn't as much damage in this when you have uh, the resources showing as well. Mm, it's true. Was there any redeploys that Yoda had on him that could potentially got switched across? I don't believe so. No? Lipo's not redeploy. There was um, <laughs> load operatives not redeploy. Light bow redeploy. That'd be insane, right? You're never designing cards. <laughs> Just never. <laughs> Gee. That'd be a card. That'd be a hell of a card. Oh. It'd probably bring up to four resources at least, but <laughs> God damn it. Redeploy on light bow, you crazy man. Plenty of rolls coming in now. We've got a Hondo got them sadist over here. Who's uh uh done the resource trick already. Yep. Yeah, so he's already hit the special... Oh, hyperspace jump. There's the hyperspace jump. We're doing it. End of turn. We're done. Move on. I don't know. <laughs> damage oh. for damage? Yeah. I don't know if I like that. Justin didn't get anything out of that turn. He didn't get an upgrade? Didn't, didn't, get, get, an, didn't get an upgrade in play. Spent I mean, the resource he potentially could have like, had. Trent... Trent didn't commit anything that turn. He played a vibro knife and that was it. Justin yeah. didn't get anything. I, I'm not. I'm not a fan of that play. I don't, I don't think that was necessary. I think you could have uh, could have held off. Uh, this is oh, interesting. Oh, oh, he called it. He called he the called special. It. He called the special. Yeah. What a baller! You, you call the side you don't want to see, <laughs> and he oh, saw what a, it. Oh, what a Get baller! It out of here. It's the one in three. I suppose it's the only thing that's repeated twice in the die, so it's yeah, the correct play. It's but the still, correct play. still, still well, well, well done, Trent. Well done. Uh, Yoda doesn't matter though. Yoda can special still and a special. Focus. See, now we're seeing a different... So Justin's deck, not as explosive as it was the first game. Yeah, very, very different. Uh, there's the defend, going to rip yep. two two cards. Two uh, dice. Defend has ambush. So wow, slow ambush. Up, slow up, Trent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to remove both of your dice, and I'm going to take another turn, it's, if you don't it's mind. A, I, I think there is no longer... Unless you want both, there's no reason to play block or dodge anymore. Yeah. Um, defend and um, dive, I think it is. Uh, they both instead of dodge. Yep. Yeah. So defend is yeah defend yeah defend and dodge. Um, sorry, defend and dive rather. They only remove. I think it's two dice instead of the whole. Lot. Instead of all of it. But the thing is, realistically, it's only ever two to three dice you really care about, and yeah. you're removing the base, and it has ambush. Yeah, the ambush is huge. I don't really think there's any reason to play the old versions of those cards yep. over that. Not to mention. In the newer formats, you won't be able to anyway. 100%. And as we saw what Justin just did, he defended. The ambush got the Yoda special. Yoda special took two shields. Yeah. Def and that removed, that mitigated the, the third dice. Yeah. Yeah, basically. It um, did what it needed to do. So we have lightsaber pull now. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming to pull the Hondo, uh, more lightsaber. Yeah, the, the, the Hondo, Hondo here, Justin. Heirloom saber is what it was. Justin is not. It's This is a very, very slow start. 
Still getting damage through, but he's got some vanilla characters. And I don't, this deck doesn't function well without upgrades. You yeah. need something to, to, to tide it over. You need a, a light bow or a cunning or something. Uh, Trent is able to sort of accelerate. Yeah, we saw we saw the weakness come into play. Uh, there's Hondo tapped out. There's he didn't end up taking the resources. Yeah, there's... so we got to truce and get the heirloom saber. So Trent in. Trent gets to just sort of play here. Uh, am I right in understanding that Trent oh, shows what damage? That's hold a lot on, of damage. Hold on, did we just miss out? That's a lot of uh, damage. One, uh, two, seven. But look, he had one shield and three. one damage. Yeah, bunch of damage. Wow. Um. Yep, that'll do it. Uh, am I right in understanding that Trent chose to play on Throne Room? Yeah, that must have been it. I'm not sure. I mean, you've got... Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Hypers... Yeah, okay. Hyperspace Jump is definitely something to come into that play. Oh, that is, wait, we, that is what we... Was that Hyperspace Jump we saw... Uh, that would have been why the turn one yeah, to try and harvest space jump. Well, on the next space jump. I'm right. sorry. I'm. 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 That play is very drastically eh, different now. I don't know about that. I think. I don't think. I think he did it too early. Yeah. So Trent would have picked his own battlefield. We missed. Sorry. Po apologies, guys. Were that was a hyperspace jump turn yeah. one. Um, I don't think it was necessary yet. I That's think. You, I think you want to do it. Did Justin take truce money when truce came down? Uh. Uh. I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think he did, considering he has two resource now. Uh, when was Truce played? Last turn? Last turn, the end of last turn. Yeah, so Justin should probably have one more resource here. I think he did not get receive a resource from Truce. Yeah. Uh, he did play the Force Illusion, actually. No, okay, so he would have. Yep. He played the Force Illusion. Uh, don't, don't make me question. I'm, I'm reading the chat. We have, we no, have it's all going. good. It's all good. Just like to confirm. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah, I, look, back to what I was saying. I don't think... You wanted to hyperspace jump that quickly. Yeah. I don't think it was necessary. I think you want to do that at a pivotal moment when it, like you want to do it when you actually want to claim the, you want to use the claim ability. Yeah. Um, I don't think you want to do it just to have the battlefield. I think it's not necessary. It is an incredibly important battlefield and powerful as we saw previously, but at the cost of three resource, mm. that's a lot of resources. Yeah. As we see now, the light bow is still in his hand. That's what he chose. He chose a hyperspace instead of the light bow. And I, you know, we're not in Justin's head, but that that seems like a very risky play. So lipo on Yoda, as we saw in, in game one. Well, yeah, it was a combination. So it was a combination of that. I mean, also the four speed, like four speed, demonstrated in game one how powerful it is. Yeah. Um. This is a small combo style deck because when you get uh, all those upgrades in play, you can just keep going and going and going and going. Yeah. And there's not a lot of stuff you can do in between that because having the two turns from four speed, you know, there's a reason that that card is so expensive and in every single deck that has a blue character pretty much. So, yeah, it is, so it is a bit of an auto include currently. Um, but, I mean, decks function fine without it. Yeah. But it feels wrong to not play it on a, on a character like Yoda. Yeah. It definitely demonstrated game game one why it's so powerful, like how how quickly it accelerated that game. The Double focus on Yoda. We've got some choices now. Well, yes. Double focus on Yoda, but only other two dice in play, and Yoda's well, dead without an upgrade being played. You, you, there you go. So Trent's still going after Yoda. Um, Which I think is the correct I play. I think it's correct in this instance. I don't think it's always correct. I think sometimes you want to go after Hondo first. Hondo is the damage, right? Hondo is depending. I think you want to follow upgrades. Yeah, the the, the damage from this deck comes from specials, and the specials that do damage come from Hondo and yeah. equipment. Uh, in this and case, we saw no equipment. There was no. Oh, equipment. There was no. Yeah, like no upgrades, no abilities, nothing. So I mean, I think I honestly think Justin sort of put himself quite far behind by committing so early to that hyperspace jump rather than playing an upgrade. Yeah. And then was just never able to to really catch up. Um, Having a lipo is a is a whole world. Of he has a lot more damage. He has done seven damage to sister. Um, he's going to get friends in low places. That's probably going to hit the entangle. I think. Yep. I can't see the card under his <laughs> hand under the hand cam there, but Trent shaking his hand. He's like, I don't, I don't really care. Not quite sure what that other <laughs> card was. That was an overconfidence. So he uh, did. That's force misdirection. He, right? no, oh, so the, the card, the card that we yeah. couldn't see was an overconfidence. He hit a force misdirection. I probably would have taken the entangle, but I don't know. That's that's me. There's oh, oh. oh he's gonna call it. What's he called? Call? Special. No. Ooh, all right. So we're staying play for now. Yeah. 
I think this is very, very soft. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Trend. I think I think you take the entangle there. It, it's a two dice that you can remove. It's up yeah, to three. Up dice. To so three. It could be any three dice. dice. Any, any dice. dice whereas for the the misdirection only hits the cards you have in like only hits can the that symbols. Hit zeros and blanks. Uh yeah, up to. Up to. Oh, up to. You so can remove. You can remove zero. Zero value. You can remove two specials. Zero is a value yeah. less than yeah. three. Two dice up to three. Yep, yep. that makes sense. Yep. Uh, up, up. I believe you have to remove two dice though. It does say specifically say you must two dice up to a value of three. Yeah, so right. you can't remove one die. It has to be three dice. Uh, it's two, two dice, dice at least. Three, okay. three dice. Oh. Three. Whoa, buddy! I'm not, des- I'm not designing cards either. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> three specials. Yeah, I'll take care of all. Mm. That's, this is fine. Mm. Uh, there's the close quarters. Get rid of the last card in hand. Yep. All right. That's the. Yep, that's a. That's so, a got him, That's a got him card. Yep. Trent just making sure that uh, traditionally not a big fan of that personally. I think that that card almost feels like a bit of a win more. Um, but not a. It's hard to. It's it's a very hard card to evaluate because when it's good, it can be inc- like when it's good, it feels really good. But when yeah. it's bad, it's kind of like oh, why do I even have this card in my deck? It's just a bit of a win more kind of card. Yeah. So it's hard to definitely a hard card to judge. So there's Alter. I'm guessing Justin's claimed. In which case Trent is just gonna do a bunch of damage. Yep. So that's focus up to two dice. Oh, there it is. Uh, yep. That'll be game enough for two. Justin to scoop Very up. Very quick game too. Yep. We just saw, as you, as you said right from the go, you know, Seven Sister Boba can be very explosive. Yep. Very, very explosive. And we definitely saw that. Alter, alter doing work there. Yeah. Too. yeah. Right, right as it was called that this game should go to game three. Well, it went to game three. Uh, <laughs> there's the game three. That just showed, you know, the first game we saw Yoda and Hondo just being straight out of the blocks. We got the cunning in play. Yep. We got the light bow in play. These huge, huge upgrades. Um, and Trent on the other side comes in and says, well, I'll answer that with my vibro knife. Yep. Um, I'll come in with the upgrade on Seven Sister as well. Yeah, well, it, we've, seen, we've, seen, we've seen both the extremes here. We've seen um, Justin's deck fire on all cylinders from, 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 from the first action and just get him. Yeah. And then we saw Trent's deck do something pretty similar. I mean, look, that They're said... very upgrade-centric decks, as we could see from the deck list earlier as well. Yep, that said, um, Justin still did do a fair... Justin still got, I think, eight damage out. Yep. Or maybe seven damage out um, before Yoda went down without any upgrades in play, which is not nothing. No, not at all. Um, but... Yoda really showcasing his power, even without upgrades. And and to think, potentially with a light bow involved in that as well, yeah. rather than the hyperspace jump. Yep. So Alter is an interesting one. Um, it's a very powerful card, but only in certain circumstances, yeah. obviously, because you kind of you know you're focusing two dice in the face of your opponent and going, "I hope you don't have anything." <laughs> <laughs> do you got what it? What do you got, buddy? <laughs> but you can also do your opponent's dice as well, which is quite interesting. That's very powerful. That's that's a big, yeah. So it's, big it's focused two. It's essentially focused two dice. Um, yours or your opponent's. So can you do one on one. You can do one on one. You can do. Two, what, two of yours, two of theirs, one and one. Yep. Two dice on the field, on the battle. The two dice in play. Rather. That's very, very powerful. Yep. All right. So <laughs> it looks like so Justin again match play. Justin lost that game, so now he's going to have the choice of his battlefield. Yep. And surprise, surprise, it is throne room. A very nice throne room, mind you. Gorgeous. Like, yeah. The, the promo back from nice fancy promo. That's that's not even a that's from a qualifier or something. That's from some US event. That's yep. not from uh, that's no, no no event that's been in Australia. So we're going to see... Comic-Con or something like that. Yeah, we're, we're going to see some uh, pictures now. If you were in either position, what do you think the cards you're looking for right now? If, if you're All seeing right. the Honda Yoda, the... All right, so if I'm playing Honda Yoda here, I'm looking for a force speed. Yep. I'm definitely looking for a cunning. Yeah, definitely. Um, a force throw would be nice. Uh, getting the force speed. Opening play, you never feel bad playing a force speed on Yoda. Yep, <laughs> it's like one of your first actions. <laughs> you want you upgrade. want a mix of an upgrade that you can play turn one, and it's probably an upgrade you can play turn two, as well as some mitigation. Yeah. Um, now on on Trent's side, if you're looking for seventh sister, what, what? oh look, I'd seek a droid to be nice immediately. That, that never feels bad. Yep. Immediately making her a five die character. Um, what he's got isn't bad either. Uh, that's a pretty good mix. So he's got some removal there. Uh, he's got some. Yeah, that that's a great hand from Trent. That's a really nice hand from Trent. The truce, I think, against Tru- truce Hondo. giving him a lot of options there, so he can um, play vibro knife, knowing that if he need, yeah, exactly. So having the truce gives him the ability to need to have that resource whenever he needs it. This is interesting. So Justin actually chose Trent's battlefield what? for the shields. Uh, for the shields, with the intention of playing hyperspace jump. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's the there force speed. So there's the force speed. So immediately, Yoda's going to be more impactful this game than he was previously. Yep. 
simply because he can. It's a second four speed. Double four speed is good. It's I mean, it's look, a bit of overkill. Look, let's be honest. If one four speed's good, two four speeds are better. <laughs> it's, just, it's that simple. Being, being the chain special into into whoa, it's slamming that down with such confidence. Justin was so so happy about that play. Dave just pointing out in chat that we did give out the... Uh, so that's actually... Yeah, I completely forgot about that. A tournament we ran at PAX, um, we actually gave out those. those yes. we, we had them as prizes. The I still don't know where gorgeous, they came. The gorgeous uh, Anakins? The gorgeous yeah. Lukes? Yeah, the, the stuff. It, it, was, yeah. it was a lot of loot that wasn't available in Australia that we got our hands on. I couldn't yeah. tell you where, where it came from. Uh, Scott, our manager. No, like no, no. I mean, I know who got it. <laughs> I know who got it. We got it, but I couldn't we, we tell you it. where it came from. Yeah, I just know they're expensive. <laughs> Fantasy flight games, uh, according to our producer <laughs> yeah, right here, yeah. Scott. All uh, right, so that's a lot of specials. That is all the specials you could possibly dream of. Two right. turns. So gonna it's going to take two actions. First action rolls. Fun fact: He has another four speed. Rolls in Hondo. <laughs> Second action, take two more actions. Right uh, with Yoda, I think. Yeah, you you can Yoda. Oh, into... this is so much damage. So Yoda focusing four speed to take two more actions. Yep. And then, yep, take two more take actions. Two more actions. Yoda focusing Hondo double special. That's six damage. You doing six damage. Take two more actions. Take two more actions. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with the two actions well, now? I don't know. You play an upgrade oh. because you have a bunch of resources and then claim. God, yeah, that's that's. <laughs> How's that for a turn one? The actions weren't even needed. <laughs> Second action pass. Talking about showboating. <laughs> yeah, just chose chose us. Like, important to note. We might as well take this op this, this showboating opportunity to, to to explain some some rules as I like to do occasionally. Um, not taking an action, an additional action, is not the same as passing. Yes. Uh, so, like, obviously, if you would have a, have an action, you don't take an action. You're passing. If you have an additional action, you are not passing. You are just not taking that action. Oh, so big, your opponent big can't then pass Passing back and end the turn. Yeah. Interesting we're seeing here, the truce actually not being played, but uh, being pitched to re-roll. Clearly wanting the four well, solution. His opponent's out of the turn. He's yeah. not, he doesn't want to give his opponent more money this turn, which I agree with is not a great play. Yeah. And he doesn't, he feels he doesn't need to play the force solution this turn because guess what? He's already taken six. Yep. His opponent can't do anything more. I believe that is correct play. Um, I, I do agree with that line. Uh, yeah, pointing, someone pointing out in chat there that maybe keeping up in Tangle would have been better. Uh, but Yoda's on four damage with the Yoda, Yoda with the did take knife. four. Yoda did take four. As we all know, um, Vibro Knife, slightly different to where it was originally. With the cards in play, I feel it's almost... It's very likely that uh, Lone Operative is going to go off... The special is going to be utilised this turn at least yeah. once. Well, only once. Or potentially twice if a cunning comes out. There's the hyperspace jump as well. So hyperspace jump. So now, so this can be huge. So if Justin's able to get another resource, the hyperspace jump is three dam can be three damage, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. I like this play. The more I think about it, the hyperspace jump, getting two shields on Yoda right from the start, is is incredibly powerful. Yep. Right. Um, you, you get your two extra shields. Mm -hmm. Your opponent gets the battlefield for a turn or two, but you yep. get the hyperspace jump into that, and the resource is just flying through. Yeah, so there's a roll. Um, so that's not bad. That's yep. a, that's a good roll. Special. Take two actions. First action rolling Hondo hits discard special. Second action is probably fire off the Hondo. Takes your takes your opponent off any cards. Yeah, take away the resource feels pretty good. It stops any mitigation coming uh, through as well. Yeah, I think I think Justin's might, by the look of it, Justin's going to go for a more greedy play here. But I feel the better play is to simply take your opponent off of the resource. Nonetheless, he's going to go for the greedy play of double Hondo specials, I believe. Yep, and the Yoda. Yep. Which yep. is, you, know, you always want the Yoda, I think. So, so he's going to flip, he's gonna flip Hondo to a special, and he's going to flip uh, Yoda to a special, which means Yoda can get the four, the, the lone operative special or the four-speed special. Um, well, we can see from Trent's hand, I mean... Justin can be greedy right now. There's two friends he in low can, places. Of he can. I don't think he needs to be. I think it would have been safer just to simply resolve one of the Hondos and you're still in the same position, but your opponent can do less about it. Yeah, definitely. Because right now, if your opponent has an easy pickings... Ah, well, uh, is that hero? No, wait, that might be hero only. I can't remember. Is this, 
No, easy pickings is neutral, is it not? Even if he has an isolation or, or something, I'm not sure if he plays isolation oh, in the deck. No, no, it definitely doesn't play isolation. But um, I can't remember off the top of my head if it's a, if, either way. I, I just feel that the I feel yeah. like the outcome is uh, the same regardless. But one line is safer, maybe a little slower, yeah. but the outcome is the same. Nonetheless, so here we see Yoda chain it off again. Yeah, nonetheless, Justin's going to be rewarded for the situation. But it did give Trent the chance to get that resource from Seven yeah, Sister. Yeah, well, that's the thing. So he now, six yeah, damage right now. Now the Hon. Yeah, so easy pickings is hero only. But nonetheless, I, you know that that's the first card that came to mind. But I don't. I think that Justin could have just been less greedy, taking the resource off Trent, still been in the same position. Yeah, maybe got a bit more out of the turn. There's the Force Illusion coming through. So he paid one, and then. Yeah, Hondo special for one, and then and then took the other three on the Force Illusion. Yes, that is correct. So he wants his resource. Yeah, he wants the resource. Wants to be able to play stuff. Um, he, uh, I guess it, it's for next turn because he yeah, doesn't have anything he, he really needs in to his bang. Hands he needs to. Well, that's the thing. This is what we saw again. Both these decks are very dependent on their upgrades. Yeah. So J Trent, Trent rightly <clears throat> knowing rightly that there's a good chance that, that Justin is going to be resolving two Hondo specials a turn. Yeah. And at the moment, that means that he's giving up two resources a turn, which means he never gets to play anything. So in order to get something in play, he needs to net, like, bank up resources. So Friends uh, in Low Places takes the... Friends in Low Places takes, takes I, think, I think, the only legal target, right? No, 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 it's events. He hyperspace jumps right now. So that was the debate. Do I take the hyperspace jump and maintain my battlefield? Yeah. Um, or do I want to potentially, potentially prevent that mitigation that he's got well, coming personally, in? I would have taken the hyperspace jump. I think the hyperspace jump was the correct decision as well. Having the throne room is so powerful. Well, now you've just got the constant threat of just getting nogged. Yeah. For three. And you can never not have resources. If there's a Hondo die in the pool, you can never not have resources. You've also now got, at the very least, Justin can just leave the lone operative in play and heal too. Yeah. Um, plus all the other, like if a cunning comes down now, you're just, you cringe. I think maybe Trent might be thinking that the Boba special is is quite powerful. Uh, it is, but it's but not a strong. Well, the Boba special requires the something. Hit. Exactly, that's right? the thing. The Boba, the Boba special requires something. There we go. That's and something. To now hit. you immediately you you immediately regret giving giving up that battlefield. I think that's yeah. a, a bit of a misplay there. And he's tried the heirloom saber to get some damage on, but well, he needs to. He, uh, he's, definitely, he's, but... he's, he's made the right decision to do that. But I don't know. I think it might be a little too late because. Justin's dice are just good. All the dice are good, and they're so like. Except I, the blank. On I that was having speed. this discussion out the front actually just before with uh, with a friend of mine, um, who doesn't play much Destiny anymore. He used to play quite a lot actually, quite yep. competitively. He wanted to play today, but he couldn't make it down. Oh, that's uh, a shame. Yes, it came down a bit later, but great day of games. Oh yeah, it's been it's been an amazing day. But I was talking to him about decks, and the actual com the conversation we're having is is uh, about the OTK deck that we saw, and the fact that I don't like the deck because I feel that it's a little bit too reliant on too many factors, and there's lots yeah. of things you've got to that have got to go right. So for you it's to a do very well. big hit or yeah. a miss. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, there's, there's so many things that got to go right, and I was talking about decks that I enjoy and like, and I said, well, the, the, the inherently Destiny has some some amount of variance to it. Yeah. You know, you're rolling dice, you're drawing cards. The, there's 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 you know things go up and down. So I like decks that are able to mitigate as much of the variance as possible and stay do what they do more consistently than their opponent can do. Yeah. This is a great example of that. This deck has so much focus and so many ways to control its own dice, it really rarely matters what you actually roll. Yeah. The, the trade-off for that is maybe you don't get to hit anywhere near as hard uh, in, in a power spike, but that's the question. Being able to mitigate, uh, to, to damage that much per turn. Sorry. And step back, I'm, I'm an idiot. Friends in Low Places, of course, does not hit. Uh, uh, <laughs> hyperspace? Hyperspace jump, it's too expensive. It must be two or below? Uh, I think it's, I don't remember. One or below? One or below, yeah, of course. Okay, I've got, that makes more sense. Man, I've been out of the chair for too long. And I've, forgotten, I've forgotten all the cards. You, you just don't play these I've cards. I've been, been too busy playing freaking Mill. <laughs> <laughs> and killing people with Jar Jar. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Don't bring Jar Jar into this. We'll leave him on the side. Nah, Jar Jar's great. If I wasn't commentating today, I'd be cleaning people up with my uh, with my mill deck. I'm so scared of that deck. I'm so <laughs> glad you're not here. <laughs> no, like genuinely, um, I, I was really, I, I really wanted to play today, but I like coverage just as much. But I have a, a bit of a spicy brew. Um, it's Yo double Yoda, double Jar Jar partisan. So everyone's playing. God. So everyone's playing that like a similar mill deck like that. 
but they're playing it with uh, either Red. They're playing with like Rose or Riken or something. But yeah. I play with Jar Jar. So sound the alarm on a stick. Yeah, well, it's, it, yeah. scramble S- on a stick. Sound, it's, sound, yeah. Scramble on a stick. Sound the alarm on a stick. Have you want to look at it? Um, and it's legitimately a really strong deck. I actually think it's better than the than all the Riken Mill decks that are going around yeah. at the moment. Again, it, it's that consistency you're looking for. It's a right? five die list. You're forcing that extra card out of their hand yeah. from Jar Jar. Oh, the, Jar, look, Jar Jar with Jar Jar has two, double double discard. So discard both his dice. He has. Um, both his dice also have an indirect to trigger the partisan ability. Yep. You get two die. You obviously get two dice from him, but you also get two die from, from Yoda, oh. which means you're actually playing a five die list and you get to play cards like Vandalize. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is so important in yeah. this vehicle heavy meta. We haven't seen a vehicle deck uh, quite yet. We've seen Way in the one game. Yeah. Uh, look, and he's definitely a top eight. Uh, so look, uh, yeah, yeah, so he has. Uh, just like it's very much an aside, but I, I'm I'm a big fan of the deck I'm playing at the moment. Yeah. I, I think it's a real shame that I wasn't able to convince anybody to play it today. <laughs> I, I genuinely believe it's better than a lot of the decks. I wouldn't if I wasn't here. But... Uh, I genuinely believe it's a lot better than a lot of the decks currently being played uh, as mill decks, and that that's that's not being biased either. That's after a lot of testing. <laughs> I There's think a lot of games. Being I think played. it's a very good deck. Very consistent. I think as it's we're a saying. very good deck. Uh, anyway, nonetheless. Uh, Here's a bunch of dice the from Yoda. game at hand. Uh, Justin's going to pick up a fistful of dice and hit a bunch of specials because that's <laughs> what those dice do. Yep. Uh, Trent, home seat, home is, Trent home is, is very much on the back foot here. Yeah. He's got his upgrades out. At least that heirloom saber will get redeployed onto Boba uh, when the seventh sister dies. I wouldn't say it's an if at this point. Currently on eight health. Yeah, look, there's a very good chance. Two turns right now. Very good chance he's going to get cleaned up. First action roll in. Second action. We don't have a Yoda special, so we can't keep taking free actions right oh, it now. It doesn't matter. You just focus focus a Yoda die and say if you got it. Uh, we're going to re-roll. Just takes the re-roll. Re-rolling Yoda dice never feels bad. Yep. We've got the, the uh, lone operative in there just in case. Yeah, and there's the Honda special. Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff. I don't think Trent can survive through this. So, all right. There's just no damage on Yoda or, or Hondo. We've got one on Yoda nah, so and it, a shield on Hondo. Uh, right? Here we go. So that has to succeed... Or I believe Justin loses a uh, sorry Trent loses a character. Oh no, it does take it does take it takes it takes off a special. No, yeah. so it had it not had that. Okay, let's say Trent couldn't get rid of that special. Um, Justin is able to crush one resource as well as resolve two Hondo specials. Yeah, and and with seven sister gone, I mean again, Boba has the heirloom saber, but you lose three dice, two from the seven sister and the droid. Yeah, look, uh, Justin. Justin has correctly been killing Seventh Sister. Seventh Sister is the big damage dealer in this deck. Um, yeah, there's the lightbow. Yeah, so lightbow does the job. Um, yeah, it's it's been rough. It's been real rough for uh, for Trent. But I think he, he did. I don't think he showcased showcase the power of. Yeah, the deck. I don't think I don't think Trent's playing. I don't think Trent's really done anything wrong. Uh, no. Justin. Had a great game one and, and a pretty good game three here. Um, I think genuinely that this Hondo Yoda deck has just a very good matchup versus this. It's a spe- both decks re- resolve revolve fairly heavily around their specials. Um, obviously, Seven Sisters not not a special character, but she she you know she does damage in the yeah. way a traditional character would. But I think Justin, I think the, the Yoda just makes this deck more consistent, particularly given that Trent's deck wants to, wants to play an upgrade every turn and being yeah. being. It's not even the fact that Hondo does damage by taking resources. The, the loss of the resources alone is enough to impact your damage output in this deck because you are so dependent on getting upgrades in play. We, we saw in game two, uh, getting the Vibrant out, out turn one, the Heirloom Saber out turn two, he got to roll in a bunch of damage. Things were very threatening. Yeah. The Heirloom Saber hasn't come out until turn three this game. Yeah, like that's the thing. He's got two upgrades in play. And not a lot to do with them. Ancient lightsaber that's almost dead in his hand because he's so scared of the Hondo specials. But both decks are very tempo-y, I feel. Um, and game one, Justin definitely got 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 on the front foot, push push Trent back. Game two, Trent was on the front foot. Yep. And game game three, Justin's get dust. Justin's done it again. I enjoy that the tempo swing of, of Destiny, where if you get the upgrades first, yeah. your opponent's forced onto the there, back well, foot. Well, there's certain there's certain decks that aren't that can play from behind and can bring it back, but there are certain decks that can't. Yeah. Uh, there are certain decks that once they're sort of behind, they're really stuck there. 
Um, Trent, Trent with all the Trent's got all the marbles. He's got all the money, got all the upgrades. He's got overconfidence in hand. Still got, got the character. Two overconfidences. Oh, he's got a dive there. It's not going to. It can hit some of Boba's sides, I believe. Yeah, he has uh, one one ranged, one melee. Got the easy pickings one as special. well, just in case. Very, very powerful. Powerful cards coming from Justin. There's so much mitigation, and there's so little dice now on Trent's side. Two overconfidence in hand there, actually. Yeah, there's so little dice on Trent's side, but well, Trent, gone. Yeah, exactly. How uh, do you? How do you? You can prevent it all uh, very easily. Bringing this back is going to be hard. Justin's got a lot of time, and just a lot of threat. <laughs> you like, know what? That that uh, load operative Yoda's not only back on zero health. Yeah, exactly. Well, zero damage, I should say. But it has a shield. <laughs> oh well, that was just a buy the buy because he rolled double Yoda special, so he didn't have to. <laughs> Didn't have to do any more any any focusing via Yoda. He just uh, flipped one straight to a special. Yep, straight straight to a, a such, such powerful abilities on Yoda, and you know what? He he doesn't have a damage slot on him, but you don't need him, as you say. It brings the consistency onto the table. Um, there's the claim from Justin. No dice in pool though. Yeah, uh, someone pointing out in Twitch chat there that they feel that uh, Trent should be trying to now position himself to kill Hondo, which I actually agree with. Yep, I also um, agree. Lone operative when you've got a solo character out there. Uh, is... But Yoda, Yoda will do no damage. If Hondo dies. I don't believe there's anything else in the deck that Justin can play uh, short of playing another upgrade. I don't know exactly which ones he's got left. Yeah, Yoda can't. Yoda would have to mill to win. Uh, there's but not a lot of cards that, left in that Trent's said, deck. I mean, <laughs> but that said, Trent. Yes. Tr- look, well, we, we're saying that. I mean, Trent has the damage to. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna roll in, and I'm gonna see a whole bunch of melee, and I'm gonna go yeah. absolutely mental. And we have a gun, we have a melee, we have a melee, and then we have the special from Boba. Uh, but there's the entangle. Remove in both those dies, stopping the damage. We still have overconfidence in hand as well. So if Trent doesn't get the chance to to activate the Boba for one, <laughs> there's there's unfortunately not a lot for him. Uh, hey, we've got another melee. So Trent's trying to roll well, but with the two overconfidence in hand, double overconfidence. It doesn't. You don't even really care what. what like no. it's essentially it's removing a die. It's just taking away Trent's turn. Yep. And Justin hasn't rolled in yet. No. <laughs> and he has the. And, and Pitches he, a Maul's lightsaber. Well, he has to. He has to do I damage. Feels here. so bad. He has to do damage yeah. here. So now Yoda rolls in. Gonna get a some, bunch some of amount fear. of specials. Yeah, this this game this game slipped away pretty quickly, with with the loss of three dice. I think. Yeah, it went it went downhill pretty fast. Uh, Bit unfortunate. There's another lone operative out. It's how do you deal with that? That's so tough to deal with. Yeah, One of my favorite not... cards back in um the Luke Maz days. I used to play lone operative second chance even in um the ha- Han Radex, the more powerful <laughs> version of of Luke Maz. Yeah, old school. Um, yeah, there's, yeah, this is not this We is have not a great. special on the loan operative again in case you want to try and take out Hondo. Damn it. Is that damage on the light bow? Focus. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. Crush on the Yoda as well. I mean, that's fairly important because you can guarantee yourself that extra damage on, on Bob. I mean, he's still got 11 health to go through. It's not a small amount. Yeah, he's still, he's still got to kill him. He's still got to kill him. It's, it's likely. Although, look, here we are saying that that Justin's got the, the you know the two the two overconfidence he's just got it. I don't think he not needed, anymore. I don't think he needed to just fire them both off so easily. He's not. I don't think he's he's not killing Trent for at least a turn, probably at least two turns. Yeah. Given, given the the saber that's in play, um, you suffer the, the yeah. Damage I, spikes I think for he might. I think he might have gotten a little bit a little bit flippant. Um. There's definitely uh, now he's actually pitching. Was that another overconfidence he's pitching? Uh, he no, he's already played. He's played both his overconfidence. So he pitched to re-roll. No, no, no. He entangled. He entangled. And then overconfidence. Oh, so he and he's pitching the next yeah, one okay, to cool. re-roll. I, I don't agree with this. I think that you're gonna have to. He has to be a little bit, a little bit careful here because Trent. There's the double Hondo special though. Well, yeah, Trent has two resources. Uh, yeah, and he's already got the upgrades out that he needs. So yeah, and I mean, like. He's, he, Trent just gives up the resources here and goes to the next turn. Or does he? He's really no. Debating. What's you he got give in up hand? the resources. Yeah, you're, you're crazy. To, you're, yeah, you're crazy to let him have the damage here. 
The only way you win is by not taking damage faster than you can deal damage. And then he claims for safety. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. There's nothing else for him to really do. Discards both. Th there's a serious mill strategy going on right now. We, there's um, not a lot of cards left in trans No, there's deck. not. There's not. Well, there's not. The game's gone quite long, but that doesn't mean that... Genuinely, yeah, no deck. genuinely, I think... The only thing I think that Trent might be doing wrong here is by still going after Yoda. Yeah. He, he needs to kill Hondo. If he kills Hondo, I think he's got a good chance at winning. Uh, keep in mind, Lone Operative definitely has a discard side on it. Uh, it has two discard. Has two discard. Mm -hmm. Discard two, rather. It's a single oh, side yeah. that says discard two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's that's quite scary. It is. It's now not... he's in a very tough decision because even if he did go for that that Hondo, yeah, the lone operative on Hondo helps a bit. Yeah. Um, it makes it harder to kill him. Um. All right. So the electro shot coming out there. Is gonna the hit, Boba gonna special? Hit, no, it's the that's the lone operative special. No, no, the Boba special. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Justin, Justin yeah. hit the Boba special saying? on that That's one. That's yeah. right. Sorry, apologies. I'm tired. Which is, which is, uh, fair enough. I mean, yeah, hits the, hits the, the Boba special. Three and Boba special doesn't feels matter. Kind of He's bad. just gonna alter in his face and be like, "What you wow. got?" Wow, That's a lot of melee. So what's that? That's six, seven, eight, nine damage. Does Justin just hyperspace jump? Yes, if you've got it. He's got it. He's got the resource. Yeah, you just do it. All you easy pickings. That is an easy pickings, yep. That's, I think easy pickings is probably the better option oh, here. Oh, he right? can't, though. They're diff oh, yes, he can. He's going to remove those are the same. Yeah, two and two. and two. So I miscounted how much damage that was anyway. That still... Still, uh, still, still slaps him for a bit. I still disagree with going after Yoda. I think you need to kill Hondo, but... Well, he's out of resource for this turn. Yeah, he's out right? of cards, He too. used Alter to try and push through some damage. That's very risky. No, it's not. Like, it, yes, okay, it is risky, but how else are you winning this game other than, than really reaching for the damage? Well, looking at Justin's hand, I mean, obviously Trent can't say that, but there's no mitigation left. He's gone through so much oh, mitigation. Well, yeah, yeah, oh, there was the entangle. So you've, got a, you've got a pretty good idea as Trent as to what Justin has left, but the thing is, it's what Justin has on board that's the issue. Yeah. So you've really got to go for it. That's the problem. It's that, that fear. If, if you... Can't resolve those Hondo specials to actually deal damage. I mean, you're hoping on lone operatives and light bows. Well, the problem here now is that Trent has no resources. And exactly. Hon and Hondo has... All Hondo his has dice still in play. Both his dice in the pool. With plenty of focuses from, from Yoda as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, there's, there's, a, there's the focuses on Yoda plus the focuses on the four speeds. Like, there's a very good chance that he just... So, the altar is wonderful. you got some extra damage on Yoda. And the, the light bow in play. So, I mean, look. So, but, let's work this out. Resolve specials, uh, you focus the force speed. So you take, you focus. Two actions on the force speed. You can deal nine damage. You can, you can deal nine damage here. Ten damage, if I'm mathing correctly. You do, yeah, nine damage. So you can literally take the, the, the you take the Yoda resolve specials using Yoda's die to focus a Hondo die. No, I, okay. He's just going to go for the mill strategy. I had just mill his hand. Uh, fair yep. enough, that works too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little cleaner. Just take his cards out of his hand. Yep. That's, you, you can kill someone or you can stop them from playing the game. Yeah, one of the same. And I think Justin stopped him from playing the game. That's very interesting to have the two separate strategies that we've got. We've got the yep. damage coming through Hondo, which we saw in game one. That was yep. powerhouse of damage, smashing straight through. Uh, the rebuttal from from uh, Trent as well. Yeah, the snapback. Definitely yeah, for something sure. that was happening. Yep. But in that third game, he took control of it. He stopped Trent playing his game. He took away the resources, discarded a bunch of his cards throughout the game. Yeah, look. False uh, Illusion did some work. Yeah, look, that, that, the game was... Both... All, all three games sort of went to extremes. I mean, yeah. game one went one way, game two went the polar opposite, and game three went back the other way. <laughs> uh, both decks in the games, in their respective games they won, were, definitely functioned the way the deck's designed to function. Yeah. I still feel, I think, that the Honda... Uh, oh, you got me saying it. <laughs> the Honda Yoda deck has a... I think is quite heavily favoured in that matchup. Yeah. Uh, in the fact that it does the damage via... interrupt by, via... crushing resources and slowing down the opponent's deck. There's as so well as the consistency. There's so many different ways that that deck came through. Oh, like every single dice. Yes. Yeah, it's a great. Like, what do you mitigate? Yeah, yeah, I mitigate the Yoda dice because it's Yoda. So but then you've got dice. cunning, you've got lone operative, you've got light bow. There's so much in all yep. of those cards that do so much work. Yep. All right. Uh, we're going to have a quick break uh, and jump back into the top four. I think yeah. all the other games are finished.
Uh, that was so, my, well, went to game three, so it was very long. So yeah, that was that was that was that was the longest. That was the last match still going. So we're going to quick have a very short break. Uh, we'll jump straight into top four, top and four we'll go top. through who won, obviously, in the top eight. So yep. stick with us. Too easy. Thanks. Thanks.